In this quick tutorial, we will learn how to use Proteus software to design and simulate DC and AC electrical circuits. In the next video, we will learn also how to use Proteus demonstration to create electronic and digital circuits. If you like this type of videos, please let me know in the comment section down below. Consider subscribing to Electrical Engineering Planet channel to support our community. Also, don't forget to share, like, and let knowledge enlighten your world. First, you have to download the software using this website, www labcenter.com slash downloads which you'll find in the description down below you can download the free version or you can buy the premium version the only two differences I noticed between the two versions is that you can't save your project in the free version also you can't simulate microcontroller circuits here in this video, I will use the free version or the demonstration version. Let's get started. Create a new project by clicking File, New Project. Here we have the name of the project. You can choose any name and also you can choose the path of the project, which is not important here because we can't save our project. Press next, then default schematic, next, choose don't create a PCB layout, next, next and finish. Now we are ready. Here we have two main toolbars, view toolbar which we will use to control our camera by zooming in and out and center our camera as you can see here we can zoom in zoom out or center our camera in any place we want second toolbar is edit toolbar which will enable you to edit your blocks by cutting copying deleting or moving your blocks on the left, we have tools that we use to design our circuit before simulating it using this tool. All components we need, we will find it here in the component mode. Then we will choose pick devices or P. We can search for any electrical component we need or we can search by categories. I will search for a DC battery. I will choose this DC battery by double click on it. It will appear on the wish list. Let's add a switch. I will search for a switch. And this switch, what I'm searching for, double click on it. Let's also add a lamp. And we have here our lamp. Double click on it, then press OK. Now we are ready to create our first circuit. Choose the battery and then left click on the layout. And as you can see, the battery is waiting for another left click. Now choose the switch and left click here. Then left click again on the place you want to add the switch choose the lamp left click and another left click let's center our camera then zoom in zoom in zoom in fantastic now let's connect our circuit left click on one terminal of the battery then move the cursor to the first terminal of the switch the second terminal of the switch, left click, then move the cursor and connect it to the first terminal of the lamp, left click. 
another left click here and move the wire until we find the negative terminal of the battery then left click that's great now we have our circuit ready to be simulated click on the play button now as you can see the lamp is not illuminated because the circuit is in open position because the switch is in open position let's press on the down arrow to close the switch and close the circuit now the lamp has been illuminated open the switch again and the lamp will be turned off press stop simulation now we can change the values of the battery and the lamp by double left click on the battery not the name not the value of the voltage on the body of the battery double click now we can change the name or the voltage value also we can change the internal resistance i will choose it here equal to zero ohm press ok double click on the lamp and we can change its name the nominal voltage and the resistance press ok fantastic to be honest i don't like this color of the layout so i will change it choose template set design colors from paper color i will choose the white color then press ok also we can remove this grid if you want by clicking on view then toggle grid i will return it back because i want it here let's remove now our circuit by right click on every single component then delete object or you can select the whole circuit then press right click and choose block delete let's create a bigger dc circuit now from pick devices let's choose d p d t or double pole double throw switch this switch what we want double click on it this switch actually have two inputs and every single input have two outputs let's search now for a dc motor now we have our dc motor here double click on it press ok choose now the battery and draw two batteries one two now draw the switch let's zoom out then let's draw four motors one two three and at last four connect the first terminal of the battery to one input of the two switches connect the other positive terminal of the second battery to the second input terminal of the switch now connect the four output terminals to one of each single motor terminal first motor the second one the third motor and at last the last motor now connect the other terminals of the four motors together then connect it to the negative terminal of the two batteries simulate the circuit now and as you can see there are two motors working and two motors is in stop mode because the current will flow through the switch to those two motors let's now change the switch position by choosing the down arrow now the two other motors are working and the first two motors has been stopped press stop now choose now from virtual instruments mode a dc ammeter and dc voltmeter let's delete this wire and draw a dc ammeter and connect it in series with our circuit now choose a dc voltmeter and connect it here in parallel with this motor now let's simulate our circuit again and as you can see the current of the ammeter is equal to approximately 1 amps 
because the current is flowing through this motor the other motor is not working so the voltage across it is equal to zero by changing the switch position you will find the current here is equal to zero there is no current that will flow through this motor but now the voltage across the other motor is equal to approximately 12 volt because the voltage now is connected to this motor now I will walk you through creating an AC circuit let's select all these components then right click and block delete choose now from component mode pick devices let's write down AC source and choose this alternator double click on it press OK draw the alternator a switch and the lamp let's choose from virtual instruments mode an AC ammeter and AC voltmeter let's connect the AC ammeter in series with our circuit and the AC voltmeter in parallel with our circuit Double click on the body of the AC alternator or AC source so that we can change the amplitude of this voltage source. Choose 220 volt and I will choose the frequency to be equal to 50 hertz. Press OK. Let's choose the voltage, the nominal voltage of the lamp to be equal to 220 volt. Press OK. Let's simulate our circuit now. Now, as you can see, because the switch is in open position, no current will flow through the circuit and the lamp will not be illuminated. But now, by closing our switch, the current will flow through the circuit and there is an average voltage across this lamp equal to 155 volt. And the lamp will be illuminated. Let's now see the wavelength of our AC source. Press stop and choose oscilloscope. Put the oscilloscope here which have four channels. I will connect only one channel. Channel A to the positive terminal of the lamp. Then let's simulate our circuit again. As you can see we have here four channels A, B, C, D. Now I have connected only A to our circuit. So as you can see the yellow color of the channel A is a sine wave but we can't see it properly so we can do something great now. We can change the scale of our wave. This is considered as the y axis or the voltage value. Now we can change this scale which considered as the x axis or the time axis and now you can see tons of sine waves fantastic press stop let's now create a simple three phase AC circuit delete all these blocks and choose from component mode pick devices V3 phase this is the name of the three phase main line generator double click on it then write down motor slash three phase now we have an induction three phase motor double click on it then press ok let's draw our circuit we have a motor and we have an AC source three phase AC source connect them together you can double click on the motor to change number of poles, moment of inertia, slip value, stator inductance, rotor inductance, stator resistance, rotor resistance. But I will not change anything here. Press OK. Double click on the V3 phase. You can choose the amplitude, voltage and the frequency. Then press OK. Now I will connect every single phase to one channel of the oscilloscope so 
the phase R, I will connect it to channel A. Then S to channel B. And the last phase to channel C. Let's now simulate our circuit. As you can see, the motor is rotating. And there is a lot of waves which we can see it. Let's now change the time axis. Now, we can change the axis of every single wave. Here for channel A. Here for channel C. And here for channel B. Also, we can select the offset to be equal to zero for the three phase. So that we can see them together on the same X axis. Fantastic. So we have here our three phase together. And they have a phase shift equal to 120 degree between each other. In the next videos we will continue diving in Pratia software. And we will learn how to create digital circuits and microcontroller circuits. Consider subscribing to Electrical Engineering Planet channel to support our community. Also don't forget to share like and let knowledge enlighten your world thanks for watching